Now let's see the next property of the clock, which is very important and it is called clock latency. So what is clock latency? So the clock latency is nothing but time taken by a clock signal to propagate from the clock definition point to a flip-flop clock pin. And it is also no, known as insertion delay. So in the previous uh, slides where we saw this is the clock definition point. So when the clock signal travels from here to the clock pin of a particular flip-flop. So here there are loads of flip-flops sitting here. So the delay between this clock definition point to the flip-flop clock pin is called nothing but clock latency. Okay. Now there are two types of clock latency. The clock latency is actually divided into two parts. One, one is source latency and one is network latency. So the source latency is nothing but the latency between clock source or clock definition point to the clock port in a given design. We will see in details in the next slide with the circuit diagram. For now, just remember that the source latency is nothing but the clock with the delay between the clock definition point to the clock port of our design. What is network latency? The network latency is nothing but the delay or the latency from the clock port of our design to the actual flip-flop clock pin, which is basically occurs due to the clock tree insertion. So now let's see here using the circuit diagram and uh, go to the waveform. So suppose this is our design. This square is nothing but our design. And this is the clock port of our design. Okay. And now assume that we have an external crystal oscillator which is supplying clock to our design. So this is nothing but our clock source. So the latency from this clock source to the clock definition point of our design, no, to the clock port of our design, this is nothing but called source latency. So let's see the source less latency is nothing but x nanosecond. Let's assume the unit is nanosecond. So the source latency is nothing but x nanosecond. Now, once the clock is available at the clock port of our design, the clock signal has to travel from there to each of the sequential elements in our design. Okay. So th th these are the sequential elements. So the delay from here, clock port to the clock pin is called nothing but network latency and this is coming because of the buffers inserted as a part of our clock tree. So this is called network latency assume it is y nanosecond. So if you see the waveforms this is our ideal clock. So this is generated from the clock source. Okay now when this clock basically reaches at the clock pin of the flip-flops, this clock will basically getting shifted by x plus y nanosecond. So this x here is nothing but the source latency and the y is nothing but the network latency. So the total latency here for the clock signal is nothing but x plus y. So hope this latency is very much clear to you.